Welcome back. This month, the Emerge Center Against Domestic Abuse has an important question for you. How will you paint Pima purple? Well, joining me to talk about their awareness campaign and how you can do your part is Director of Development, Lauren Bianco. Lauren, so pleasure, so nice to meet you, such a pleasure. Thank you, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So let's talk first and foremost about Emergiversary. What is that? Yeah, so Emergiversary is our celebration this year of being, um, e being merged for 10 years. So in 2008, mm -hmm. Brewster Center and Tucson Center for Women and Children merged and became Emerge. And so this year we're celebrating the success of that merger. We call it Emergiversary. Mm -hmm. And we've been having different events. Um, we had a donor match earlier this year and we're using social media as a major platform to really talk about what happened during that merger, mm -hmm. what, what's happening now, and how do we envision our future in ending domestic abuse in our community? Well, congratulations on the success of it. Thank you. I'm sure it's only gonna continue to grow and grow and grow. And so, of course, we're also talking about Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. What is that? So Domestic Violence Awareness Month happens every October. Here in our neck of the woods, we call it Paint Pima Purple um, because we're really focused on painting Pima purple, yeah, essentially, right. um, and, and really um, showing our, our support for survivors and, and standing in solidarity with them as they go through their journey after domestic abuse. And there's many, many ways to do that, and we'll discuss some of them, but of course there's some events, specific events, to yes. uh, celebrate and support survivors, so let's yes. go through those. So this week, actually, there's two events happening. So Wear Purple Day happens on Thursday, October 18th. Okay. Um, we ask the community to wear an article of clothing, like a shirt, um, or an accessory, or a purple ribbon, um, to show support for survivors out there. Um, we also ask that people send photos to Emerge, mm -hmm. um, either through Facebook, through Instagram, or through email. And what we'll do is we'll post them on social media to really blitz um, people's yes. feeds with purple and show show survivors they're not alone and their mm -hmm. community really cares about them. Right, just a, a, a big way to sort of ha have everybody wear purple. Again, show their solidarity. I'll be wearing a purple tie for sure on Wonderful. Thursday. Thank you. And there's a hashtag too that people can post on social media, right? Yes, yes, so it's hashtag uh, NDV together. So NDV together. NDV together. Yep. It's all about social media these days. That's it's right. amazing <laughs> what an impact it can have. That's right. Um, and of course, stuff the truck too, which yeah. is super helpful to those uh, survivors, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. So we're having our first stuff the truck on this Friday the 19th up in Oro Valley um, it's at the Target up there and we'll be there from 7 a.m. 6 a.m. to um, 8 p.m. in collaboration actually with National Night Out and we'll be collecting lots of supplies for survivors um, to start their lives over again. So things like shampoo and conditioner, lotion, um, diapers, feminine hygiene products, anything you'd really need to start your house over with right. your children. And so there's the list on the screen, of course, I'm sure it's available online too if people wanna right. check it out later. And we should emphasize these are new items. That's right. We do not take used items mm -hmm. for a variety of reasons. We only take new. Okay, and of course, th that's one way to give back to Emerge. That's of course, right. wear purple, um, do stuff the truck, help out with whatever you can. I'm sure you, you have something in your cabinet that you haven't used or go to the store that's special. Right. I mean, it's outside the Target for Pete's sake. Yes, you can just hop right. right in there and buy something. Yep. Um, but besides doing those things, there's also other opportunities for the community to get, community to get involved. You're a nonprofit, you help these survivors. Mm -hmm. What else can we do to, to throw in with you guys and make a difference? Well, before I even go there, okay. I just want to mention that we also have a second stuff the truck. Yes. Let's next Friday okay. in Tucson. It'll be at the East Side Sam Levitt's. Good to know. Um, so same, same idea, same amount of hours. We'll be out there um, stuffing the truck full Perfect. of supplies. But um, in, answer, in answering your question mm -hmm. about how people can get involved, we have lots of volunteer opportunities, both working with survivors mm -hmm. and working as a group, you know, doing administrative tasks or helping with group events, that kind of thing. Um, and we always have um, we always have need for donations um, whether monetary or of course things like stuff the truck and this year we have an even more urgent need for these items yeah. because we've um, our law enforcement partners have really strengthened their assessment process to understand when they go out to a DV call if the situation is, is lethal or mm -hmm. at high risk for injury and so um, we've had a skyrocket am skyrocketed amount of survivors reaching out to emerge for help which really? means we need more things mm -hmm. to help them um, start on their way again. 
And having said that, if somebody is experiencing domestic violence, yes. domestic abuse, how do we reach out to Emerge? We always suggest that you call the hotline first. Okay. So that's 520-795-4266. Okay, yes. we'll, we'll make sure to give that number again. I'm gonna give them some more information that's about great. Stuff the Truck, again, the two locations, et cetera. But Lauren, pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming Thank on. Thank you, thanks so much for Absolutely. having me. Absolutely. There are two Stuff the Truck events taking place again. One this Friday at the Target in Oro Valley and then at the Sam Levitt's on the east side. Now take a look at your screen again. This is a list of the most needed items. And for all this information and more, log on to EmergeCenter.org.